Okay, my name's JW. It's 15 minutes till my exam. Script set, plan set, fruit, veg, Red Bull and soda set. Mentally, don't know. My mouse is broken. The left mouse button is uh, either double clicking or not clicking at all. Great. Let's see. Hi, approximately three hours in, I uh, haven't exactly finished all of my recon. I have basic end maps and uh, services mapped out, need to do further uh, protocol specific recon still. I did find a server uh, for which I started to develop uh, an exploit for, but I'm having difficulties. Uh, with getting the payload to actually execute uh, on a machine. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can get it done. But after lunch, I think right now after lunch, I think I'm just going to take a step back before I dive too deep into that rabbit hole. So I'll go back to my plan, revisit the order of the ports. Um, and focus on the potentially lower hanging fruit. Not low hanging, I doubt that there's any low hanging fruit in this exam, but lower uh, as a relative term. So yeah, lunch done, three hours in. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling... Uh, I, ha I had some jitters at the start, but I'm feeling good. I think I can do this pretty well. See you. Four hours in. First route. Yeah! Midnight. Technically, halfway point. Realistically, no. <sighs> Haven't been able to get basically anything done for the past, what is it, eight, eight hours now? Yeah. I got the machine at four, so that's 1600, now it's 2400. So yeah, for the past eight, eight hours, I mean, I've gotten some extra information on some servers. I am doing enumeration on them but basically no local texts and no proofs after the after the first one i've been basically banging my head against the wall uh trying to figure out this one um let's just say it's an exploit i can't say any specifics i need to be really really careful what i say as i'm actually doing the exam and i definitely do not want to give anything away um, but yeah I'm trying to hammer out this one exploit and my mind says it should be working like it clearly should be working uh, basically I don't see any reason why it's not working um pretty sure this is potentially something that I have missed or haven't done yet in the labs. So that's probably the reason why I'm struggling with it. Um, I have a few other things I'm going to potentially like. <sighs> kind of feels tunnel vision, rabbit hole, deep dive sort of stuff right now. So I need to take a step back, um, re-examine my recon for the other servers and also for this server, so, so I haven't missed anything obvious. Um, yeah, basically according to my um, schedule, I have two hours left until I'm supposed to be going to bed for four hours but I now have 12 hours left 
and if everything went smoothly, I could be done with two servers, according to the points, uh, two extra servers, I mean, according to the points in the control panel. Um, but <sighs> let's see. Must go back to enumerating more. Hi, it's 2.30 at night. After 14 and a half hours of going at it, I still only have the one server. I have very clear indication of how to get one more server don't have the skills right now or the mindset to do it I have a pretty good idea how to get a third server again just there's something missing I'm not enumerating enough or there's some stupid switch to some command that I'm not I'm not finding and then uh, fourth server I'm pretty sure how I would how I could tackle it I know the usernames involved but I I just can't find any straw to grab onto looking pretty grim right now I'm going to head to bed now for approximately four and a half hours until 7 a.m. at which point I will have five hours left to try and grab quite a few points still it, it's still doable so I'm not going to let myself off the hook yet but not looking very good good night Sixty seconds until my lab ends. This morning, as I got up around six thirty, after less than four hours of sleep, uh, I got to debugging. I went through my recon, and then, and then. I noticed that yesterday uh, at around 6.30 p.m., so basically a few hours after the first excellent success uh, with gaining the first machine, I had managed to do something. Uh, again, I need to be quite careful with any sort of specifics. I managed to do something that revealed passwords to me. But unfortunately, I had overlooked a certain encoding issue. This had meant that I had missed one user's, one critical user's password in my documentation. This morning, as I looked into my VM, there was plain text. Great. Not only that, there was actually another piece of recon that I actually missed from that same machine. Uh, this wasn't due to tunnel vision, this was due to poor planning. Uh, my plan didn't include this thing at all. Of course, that's something I learned, but I will put this down to the fact that 30 days of labs is really rushed. It's if you can't put, out, put in the 200 plus hours or 300 hours like some people are ma managing to do, at least for me, for my skill set. <sighs> I had quite a lot of difficulties uh, trying to get some uh, downloaded exploits to work, unable to get the 
payloads to work at all uh, on these new applications that I was trying to exploit. No idea why. Uh, I tried to run them on uh, on a Windows box. No, just access, access, access. No bumping into walls and. I'm guessing these are things that I have missed in the labs, or I, I should come across, let's say, uh, in May, uh, when I return to the labs. I have to say that, in general, uh, my feeling, of course, disclaimer, I am feeling tired, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling quite low. Uh, due to my own mistakes and of course not having enough skills so that's the disclaimer so this isn't well thought out uh, I felt that the exam didn't match my general feeling of the labs of course the labs is many many dozens of computers and the exam is only a handful. So obviously, uh, as far as I know, random number generators play a part in this. They have a pool of machines that, and you are assigned, I don't know, I guess a random number of machines or someone is picking them by hand. Uh, but it didn't feel, the things I was finding didn't feel like they were matching the things I was finding in the labs. <sighs> kind of hard to say any more than that because I can't say what I saw. But yeah, disappointed. Bitter feeling of disappointment in my mouth. Um, but it, this was the risk I was taking. Um, I feel that had I, this is again hindsight 2020, coulda, shoulda, woulda, and so forth. Uh, had I noticed this critical piece of information, or rather these two critical pieces of information that I spotted this morning, yesterday at 6.30 or 7 o'clock, uh, I think I might have had a chance of actually getting through. To be honest, uh, my feeling with the other machines that were left were basically I know exactly what I need to do like technically or on a higher level I know exactly what I need to do but execution failed uh, now that my lab time is or rather my exam is now over let's see if uh, yeah I'm guessing that tap zero is now dead. Yep. Yep, yep. It's now disconnected. Now that it's disconnected and my labs are officially over, I'm not going to submit the report. Obviously, I have one machine. So, no no, no point in <laughs> submitting a report uh, with uh, only very, very small number of points. But I want but what I will do is I will contact support and just ask for some pointers on where to go study. This is, I don't know if I should be slapping this idea on, on onto this video or should I just make it another video like after the weekend or something. Uh, but I've noticed that the OSCP or the, rather the PBK labs they don't fit exactly my preferred way of learning I mean they're fun uh, they're horrible they're awesome both at the same time excellent feeling when you actually crack the machine and so forth I can recommend them still I'm just saying that they're not optimal for me for me it would be maybe let's say 10% less hit your head on the wall and 10% more, hey, how about you look in that direction? Like, I know that they don't like giving hints and nudges, but that just seems 
I don't know. I understand the point of learning the hard way, but I just sort of personally prefer always for learning and, and teaching the sort of uh, mentor, mentee, or apprentice, master sort of method. I don't want ready-made answers. I want to learn the right way to think. And somehow I feel that this long form of doing labs for several months, banging your head against the wall with machines night after night, but knowing that you have like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days to do it, doesn't actually prepare you for the crunch of the 24-hour exam. Especially since basically you could be doing the exact wrong thing uh, all over your labs. Like you could be attacking the machines in, a, in, in the most horrible, horrible sort of way, horrendous sort of way. And still with the time of 60-day labs, you might get through. Like, there could be a way to attack a machine in, let's say, one hour. And you're doing it in a way that requires five hours. Now multiply that by machines and, sure, you can go through the labs in 60 days and, uh, and get all of the machines and so forth, but... If someone was able to nudge you like, hey, have you considered thinking like this? And then you would get that epiphany of, oh, that's what, I didn't even know that that was possible. That's what I think that is missing here. Because you're expected to do your own research. But if you fail in your research, if you don't know what the correct keywords are to look for, then it's quite a difficult dilemma. Hmm. But I knew that uh, this was going to be hard. This has been the hardest thing I've done uh, for the past month. I am now going to take uh, some time off. I don't. I doubt there will be uh, another episode of this series during this month because basically, in two less than two weeks, I will be already um, away from keyboard. Uh, in uh, I will be traveling to the states with my wife to have a vacation. And uh, so basically that vacation is going to be three weeks and I'm going to be back early May. So there is no point really for me to re-up the labs right now because that would be basically 10 days of um, labs and then three weeks of not doing anything with them. So I will probably resume my labs in in May when I come back. Um, I will probably buy them for two months. Let's see, maybe three. Let's see what the what the feeling is. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think that's it. I'll see you in, in May. Obviously, myself in the future, or whoever is looking at this series, potentially a year from now, there won't be a big gap. That's just the next video in the playlist. Uh, but for anyone uh, following me in real time, uh, it's going to be a month. Thank you for all of your support. I will now post this under the headline, Failure is always an option. <laughs>